Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, let's make something super awesome for dad. Stay tuned. This isn't going to be a majority paper bag craft, but we are going to bring in some paper bag scrap and use it as a liner portion of this particular project. And I'm going to bring the project in and show you exactly what it is. This is so stinking cute and so easy to make. I'm keeping mine rather plain on the outside because it is for dad and I didn't want to dress it up too much. But when you open it up on the inside, you have got this awesome desk frame for dad. And I use stickers on the inside and it says my hero father. And so dad can set this out on his desk. We can put it on the mantle, bedside table, wherever you want to place this, it's perfect. So dad can just take a couple of his favorite photos and place them down inside of this awesome looking bifold frame. And on the back, I have a little sticker that says, I'm so lucky you're my dad. And then I closed everything with these faux buckles and they're called faux buckles, but they actually work like a real buckle. I'm able to use this as the closure on this particular project. Y'all, let's make it. So the paper that I used on the project I just showed you is from Photoplay and it's called Half Pipe. And it is such a beautiful, beautiful paper and I'm holding it up so that you guys can capture um, the code and everything in case you want to look it up. And the papers that I'm using on this project are from Echo Parks and it's from the Dots and Stripes collection and it's the brown color. And let me see if I can get that up so that you guys can see it. And then my main page is Authentique and it is from the Mr. Collection and it's Mr. 10 and it is a double-sided paper. So if you guys are interested in these papers, that's the information you would need to look them up. So to make our project, we are going to need a chipboard piece that measures half an inch by six. Then we'll have two chipboard pieces that measure five by six. We're going to have a couple of mats. So we'll have a white mat that measures four by five. And I'm using this chocolate polka dot mat that measures four and a half by five and a half. Then I have a scrap piece of my paper bag and this will be my inside liner and it's going to look oh so great. And this piece is five and three quarters by 11. Now I might have to trim off on the 11 inch side but we'll know that when we get to it. And then I have a piece that measures seven by 12 of my diamond print here. All right guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a piece of my five by six chipboard on the 12 by seven paper. And then I'll take my half inch by six spine and I am going to place that down, giving myself about an eighth of an inch in spacing. And then I'll take my second piece and I'll place that down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing. Now I'll flip this over and I'll go over it with my bone folder. Don't you just love this print on this paper? I think it is such masculine elegance. Then I'm going to use my stylus and I'm using the big head portion of it to go along the edges of my chipboard and to get a little impression going. And now I'll just stand it up and very gently get a fold on all four sides. And now I can angle cut my edges, all of my corners, and then I'll use my tape runner to place tape on the outer edges of my paper and I'll fold it over. I'm going to get this stuck down. And then I'll stand it up and I'm just going to go across the top to get everything nice and squared off. This just gives it a very professional 
edge to it. Now I'll repeat this process on the remaining three sides and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I have my edges folded over and I have placed my tape so that I can place my inside liner. And I'll be using a scrap piece of my paper bag just to put down. So I am going to place this down to see what type of a fit I have. And I can see that I need to take off just a little bit on the side. So I am going to use my finger blade and just give myself a cut. And now I have a nice piece to go on the inside. So I'll lift up my tape, place glue along the edges of my liner, and then we can put it down. So I'll take my glue and just place it along the edge. And a very thin bead will do. So now that we have our glue around the edges, we can take this and place it down. And I am just going to try to get this nice and straight. And I'll use my paper towel to bring it in and to help it get stuck. And now I'll use my bone folder to get everything smooth out. And I'll wipe up my excess glue. So now I'm going to stand this up and make sure that my spine is good and it is and you can see that we have a gorgeous very cute booklet so now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and place down my mats so I am going to use the white on the polka dots because that is really speaking to me right now and I'm going to place tape on the back of my white mat then I can take my mat and place it down right here. And then I'll take my tape and place tape on the back of the mat. And then I'll take my mat and place it on one side of my spine, just like that. And I've already done my other mat, so I'll take it and place it down on the opposite side of that frame, just like that. And now you can see just how gorgeous this is, even without any type of decoration. This is already very posh, very high class looking, but we need to dress it up just a little bit. So I have these stickers um, that I've had in my stash and I'm going to use those on this particular project. I'm going to place number one dad, and then I have this really sweet little sticker that says my family. And I am going to take this one and place it right here at the bottom. So now you can see that we have this gorgeous frame. So when you set it out on the mantle, on your desk, bedside table, wherever they want to put it, dad, brother, uncle, whomever you're giving it to is going to realize just how blessed they are every time they get to see this beautiful reminder. So we are going to go ahead and place down our awesome belt buckle. And all I'm going to do is glue it down just like this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is place some glue on the back side. And this has a nice felt back that really soaks up my reptile glue. So I am going to take that. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure I've got it positioned right on the front. So I'll take it and fold it over and flip it over so that I can get that stuck down. And now on the front, I'll do the same thing. So I'll place my glue on this part only and I'm going to fold it over. I'm not pulling it too, too tight and I'll get it stuck down. And because it's reptile glue, it's only going to take, oh, a few seconds to dry. And while it's drying, I'm going to flip it over and I am going to take one of my stickers, put it on the back, just as a little back piece for this. And it says, love my dad. So now like any belt, I can just unbuckle it. And when I open this up, guys, I have this gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, little desk frame for any man. And it can set up just like that. It is 
fabulous. And I'm going to bring the other one back in so that you can get a good look at both of these. They are really are easy to make and yet they make a big statement. So we're going to open these up and you can see just how absolutely gorgeous these are. They are so stinking cute. So I hope that you guys have liked this project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, come on, get on board. Y'all have a great day. Happy crafting. And we'll chat later. Bye.